Hi, my name is Christine and I go by the screening Cause for KDZ within Kudus. And I'm the cause cultivator here at Kudus, which means I work with our partners, such as nonprofit organizations and schools. And the question I'll be answering is, how do I use my KDZ mail? So when you access Kudus and you log in with your screen name and password, you'll be brought to your desktop and you'll notice there's an envelope down here by the piggy bank and you click on that in order to launch your KDZ mail. And you'll notice here that there's four different areas within your KDZ mail. There's your inbox, compose, sent items, and notifications. So if I want to see any messages I've received, I would click on the inbox and that will show any messages that I received from other users. And I've actually already received one message and I can tell that I've already read it because the envelope here is open. But I can read it again by clicking on the message. I can see the text. I can scroll down. And then at that point, I have the option of replying to the message, forwarding the message, or deleting the message from my inbox. Now note here that this was actually system generated by Kudus, so you can't actually apply to that, but you can send messages to and from other users. But say I just want this message to stay in my inbox, I would just click on the X in the upper left hand corner, still in my inbox, and then to close my inbox, I would just click on the X again. If I want to send a message to another user, I would click on Compose, and at that point I would then be able to type in who I want to send a message to in the email to field and I would need to enter their screen name within Kudus. Now note, I could also send it to more than one user, but I would need to separate it by a comma or a semicolon. Now I could also use the icon over here on the right to search for a user. So I could either search for a screen name or I can choose one of the users that I'm already connected to or one of my fans here as indicated by an F. And say I want to send a message to Kudus, who's the system administrator, I would just click in the checkbox and then click on insert contacts and you'll notice then the name will be populated for me in the email to field. Once I've selected the users that I want to send the message to, I would just click on close. Then I can add a subject which is a required field um, indicated by the red star um, and I, maybe I just want to give some feedback about the system. So I can say kudos is great. And then I have the option of also including a longer message, which can be up to 500 characters. So once I've entered everything I need to, I can then click on send. And then once it's been sent to that user, I will see email sent successfully. And then at that point, I can just close down this window. Now if I click on the third area, which is sent items, I'll see that actual email that has been sent to Kudus. Now I can tell I haven't read it yet because the envelope is closed, but I could come here, click on it, and read it, delete it out of my sent items if I want. But right now, I'll just close down this window. So, so far we've covered how you read messages that you received, how you send messages to other users, and then how you actually see any messages you sent. Now, we'll talk a little bit about notifications. And notifications are the system's way of letting you know about different things. And the notifications you receive in your KDZ email have to do with your fans, and or your circles. So fans are other users within the system that you're connected to and we do recommend that you be very careful about who you choose to be your fans just to make sure that you really know who they are. If you're not sure who the screen name is then you'll want to just try to make sure that there's someone you really know. Um, and then as well as circles so that might be a circle for your school or an after school program that you belong to. And what you would do is you would come here, you can see any um, time that someone invites you to be a fan or if they've accepted your invitation to be a fan or if you've been accepted into a circle. So once you read the notifications, you would click on the X and that would take you back to your Katie's email. And once you've done everything you want to do within Katie's email, you would just click on the Kudu stamp or return to desktop. Now, since we've talked a little bit about notifications in Katie's email, I just also want to show you in my deck. And in my deck, which is the stack of cards here, also shows you information about your fans. Um, so once you're connected to someone as a fan within the system, you would get updates as they do different things in the system. So for instance, Challenge KDZ is someone I'm connected to as a fan. I could see information about the user, how many fans, how many challenges they've taken on. And then I could also see actions that they've taken, such as adding new photos or taking on new challenges or becoming networked or fans of someone else. And then I can click on those links as well to find out more information. And then once I'm done with reading in my deck, I would just close down with the X again. 
So I hope we've answered your questions about how to use Katie's email and we hope you're enjoying using Kudus. Thank you.